Here you are, gliding along with your asymmetric spinnaker, but all good things must come to an end and you'll have to take it down. There are several ways to do it, but here's how we do it with the leeward takedown. The leeward takedown can be used on both monohulls and multi-hulls. In this video, we'll do it onto the leeward net. The conditions are pretty calm here, but we use this approach even in higher winds. First, grab the lazy sheet to get a hold of the clue. Okay, go ahead and ease, ease tack. Easing the tack depowers the sail. You can big ease on the tack, just... Then gather the foot into a tube blanketed behind the mainsail so it doesn't refill. Okay, down on halyard. Then release the halyard and pull the tube straight down onto the net. Pull the tube down as quickly as possible and ease the halyard at the same rate, being careful not to ease too fast and drop the spinnaker in the water. On a monohull, it's common to drop the spinnaker into the companionway. Once the sail is down, you can pack it back into the box bag in the exact same way it came out, with the tack at the front, the clue at the back, and the head in the middle. You can ease the sheet off. Ease the sheet. We would normally raise another head sail before dousing the spinnaker, but we didn't here to make it easier to see in the video. The beauty of the box bag is that you can leave it all hooked up and ready to go for the next launch. Another completely bomb-proof approach is to pull the spinnaker under the mainsail, over the boom, and into the companionway in what's called a letterbox douse. If you need to repack the spinnaker after a companionway douse, check out this next video on how to do it into a box bag down below.